We're Lip Pro. About 10 years ago, we revolutionized racing analysis. And we did it with a GPS tracker that you put on your helmet or you put on your bike that logs lap times. And that's the core of our product. We can tell you corner entry, corner exit. We can tell you what you do in the straights. We can break down the entire racetrack for you and tell you how to get faster as a racer. And then we can have another rider say, well, here's what I did and, and show them on the lap and they create really fun conversations and learn from each other. Okay, but now we can take all that one step further with the new system that we developed that takes advantage of artificial intelligence that runs right on your phone. All right, here's what's going on. It's really simple. All you have to do is have a phone and a friend. What we're gonna do is you guys are gonna go out. We're gonna focus on just one section, maybe a corner or a jump. We'll point out the section. You guys are gonna do it as fast and as good as you can, and we'll take it from there. About three or four years ago, we were paying attention to the announcements that Google, Apple, Samsung were making about the phones that they were developing and putting billions of dollars into the camera, the lens, and this pipeline of like compute power. Normal phone, you know, before this could do maybe three or four billion computes a second. It went to seven trillion. And then now it's like 17 trillion. What LipPro Vision does is it takes this like whole pipeline that comes from the camera, the lenses, everything like that, artificial intelligence, and we can analyze the footage and come up with a lot of insights that we couldn't come up with before. We're always looking for ways to go faster. Yeah, in this sport, it's all about beating your time and uh, working on new techniques. Lipra does an amazing job. It's that riding coach that you have with you at all times. I can't always see and remember, recall, I guess, certain areas on the track, so it's useful to have some type of tool. So what I do right now is I have to set a few frame locks. I have to set at least three frame locks in order for uh, us to start the AI process. It just takes a couple minutes, and we call the feature Lip Pro Vision. Wow! That's super cool. So, so rad. Dude, that's sick. It's like very visual. All right, so what I've done is I've taken a few videos of you going through that corner we were standing at just now. If I were to just show you the videos without showing you what our system is doing. But if I turn on the feature, now watch it. So now everywhere on the track, you're in zoom. So we're kind of stretching time so your bike is always in the same spot for maximum comparison. If you want to see which one's ahead of the other, notice that you're crossing the tire on the, this one and you haven't gotten to the tire on that one. But what this is showing down here is the difference between the two. And because we're putting the bike in the same spot, we can also turn on this feature and then you can just see the bike overlaid. Oh, whoa. So do you just shoot it in wide mode? I don't have to put it on a tripod or anything, just hold the camera in landscape. That's cool, so the software basically stabilizes everything and... Yeah, it stabilizes everything and then keeps them all both in perfect zoom. Am I able to choose three clips if I wanted to instead of just two? Yeah, you can do as many of these comparisons as you want. You can see your hand, how, like your touches on the clutch. Yeah. Putting your leg out exactly like clockwork. We're gonna have the export feature where you can share this clip, set up exactly as you're seeing it with a friend, that works now. And also the ability to just export it if you want to put it on Instagram or, or just show your coach or whatever. Yeah, I would definitely want to see faster people than me, take videos of them and compare it to myself to see what I can do to better myself. So now we're going to analyze someone doing completely different lines on the track. I can definitely see on the inside line, my suspension is not working nearly as hard. And I think that's my lean angle is my whole body positioning is way better. I think the bike is kind of yeah. standing up a little bit more in the outside corner. Maybe that's why I'm able to go faster. This is awesome. So first of all, who do you think is faster between you two? Definitely. <laughs> Jacob, you sat late in the corner, you kept your foot on the peg. On that corner, I was able to kind of stay a little more patient and get my shift in when I needed to. Look at the helmet, how much further he is over the yeah. bar, the crossbar pad which actually you're driving forward. Yeah, that's like what, something we all work on is trying to like be in the right body position right here. Now you guys are overlaid on top of each other. Oh, that's crazy. So we're pretty <laughs> close. You can see like the, you guys are hitting the same bumps because you're on the same line. So you can see like head position, elbow position. The other thing that we haven't touched on is there's this faster than, slower than. So which one do you think is faster? Me. No, it depends on where. Looks oh like man, your son's beating you, dude. It's <laughs> yeah. By this point already, he's 0.18 seconds faster. He's smoother through the corners, that's great. Yeah, watch, if I turn off the scene composition, you can see where the difference is. So you did pick up some speed. After you exited the corner, the delta started changing. And that's what I thought. 
<laughs> All right, so who do you think is faster between you and Joseph? It's a one corner competition. I got my money on Joseph. I think it's pretty close. Uh, uh. Yeah, I braked way too soon. I feel like he slowed down less at the start. I slowed down into the corner. All right, let's play it in slow motion without the sync composition. See, I'm already slower and he's still yeah. absorbing some. Okay, I'm still standing yeah, up. Corner, I'm still standing yeah. up and you're, and you're already sitting down. Yeah, it's just standing over the bumps. Yeah, yeah my, my leg's not even up. My legs, my legs a little bit further out, yeah. Before I would just be able to see where I was faster and how by how much, but being able to see visually in front of me, it was eye-opening. I think that's where this product can help you, knowing that you can go out there and try it a few different ways and compare lap over lap. And I think that's where you're, you're really going to fine-tune your skill set and see what works and what doesn't work.